Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a floating column chart. So in this example, let's say that where there's different phases in a progression of activity and as you go up the different phases the quantities get less and less. So maybe it's a weight loss as you go through the different phases. Of course maybe you lose the most weight at the first phase and as you get further along they're losing less weight but it's because it's becoming more challenging but uh, you can use this for other type of examples and so how is this chart built basically this is a column chart so if we go under we click on the if we click on the chart you can see that these lines these border lines they're indicating that there's value there's a value under here and if I hover over it you can see this value is 90 so that's the first third phase and picking up 90 there. So what's happening is there is a hidden column and this is at the bottom of the column. The, the first one of course is 0, the second one is 50, has a value of 50, 90, 110, and 120. And those columns are hidden. And the way it's being done in the table is that the first value here is going to be 0 because there's no hidden column here. But the second value is going to be the sum of the first column. So basically we're summing that and then as we progress to the next value here it's going to sum the above values 40 and 50 so as it goes down the line it's going to it's going to go it's going to sum correspondingly the above the previous quantity in hidden values so let me show you how this is done so let me just go ahead and copy this portion first control c to copy control v the paste and i'm just going to type in hidden here and you can see the form that I'm using. So here, this is just going to be zero because there's not going to be any hidden value here. And this is going to be equal to the previous phase of the quantity plus the hidden. So if I select that, it's going to select it. So I'm going to press Control Enter. It's going to execute that value and it's going to stay in place. And I'm just going to go ahead and double click the fill handle here and it's going to copy the formula down. So you can see it here it's going to be B3 to C3 and the addition and here it's going to be B4 plus C4 and etc down here. So what I can do now is I can just select this range of this table and go under insert column and I want a stacked column. So once I click that it's going to draw out that's this stacked column and let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger And what happens here is you can see that it looks like it's kind of reversed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on select data. And I'm going to bring this hidden this hidden entry, the series, I'm going to make that come first. So or I can make the quantity go down. So I want the hidden one uh, in the first priority. So once it, it does that and click cl click okay, you can see now it's charted it correctly. So my phase 1 is here, my fa my 50 is here the value of 40 share etc so what the next thing I want to do is I just want to get rid of this legend click that and press delete and now I want to hide these hidden values so I'm gonna go and select it let me go ahead and select it now you can see that all the the series for the hidden field are selected I'm gonna right click that and go under format data series and what I'm gonna do is with the fill I'm gonna have no fill so I don't want to have any fill here now how do I get them to move closer to, the, to each other? That I need to go under the series option here and reduce the gap width. So I'm going to make that down to zero. So it's going to bring them closer together. And that's what I want. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now if I click outside you can see that it's kind of gotten that same shape now. Now the rest of it is going to be formatting. So like I wanted to maybe not have the access labels here. So I can just right click that. Go under format access and the access label I can just say none and maybe I don't want these tick marks here. I don't need to have any kind of extra lines showing up so I'm going to click none for the major tick mark and see now that's disappeared click OK and maybe I want to have the label here phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 so I'm going to go ahead and right click in there and click add data labels. Now it's going to put the values in there and that is not what I want but once I have the data labels there I can just click it you can see it's all selected so I'm going to right click it and go to format data labels and you can see the format data labels windows comes up and what I want to do is have the category name once I click the category name you can see the names show up go ahead and click close and now the, the rest is additional 
just formatting, making it a little bit more uh, nice looking. So I'm going to have this, these grid lines. They're a little dark. So I can right click it and for the grid lines, maybe I'm going to have it a little bit uh, grayish, like a lighter color. And maybe I also want to change the color of these boxes and go on the layout. I'll, I'll choose some, I'll choose the defined shape styles that Excel provides and maybe I'll have blue and what it does, it, it gives it a special effect. It, it kind of bevels it and gives a little bit of shadow. I don't want them all blue. Maybe I can just select this one as red and then this one I'll keep blue and this one maybe I'll make it purple and this one orange and, and maybe this one green. And so it adds some nice color to it. So that is a quick way of showing you how to create a floating column chart. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.